Okay. So guys, we're busy with DNA replication. Please be lesson three, go check what you need to do on my Google Classroom. And we went through the CAPS requirements now on what does CAPS need us to know about DNA replication. Okay, so replication is to make a duplicate or a replica of the DNA, to make two identical copies of the existing DNA. It happens during interphase, which, have, uh, which is the phase. If you take a look at interphase, the word interphase actually means in between the vision, inter, in between my my pen is not responding again, so apologies for that. Interphase is in between cell divisions, in between cell divisions. And please note that cells spend 90% of their time during or more in interphase. Interphase, although we say it's, when we discuss mitosis or meiosis, we say interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. But it's actually not part of mitosis or meiosis. It's the, the phase that happens in between. When mitosis or meiosis is not happening. Also, I must remember that DNA is actually surrounded by histones and that uh, or DNA is curled up around the histone. So when I, when I go through DNA replication, I also need to increase the histones uh, which are the proteins that help to keep DNA strings organized so that when we have a second string of DNA, I have something that we can take around and we can have that around um, the DNA around the histones again to keep it organized. Then, um, when we go through replication what the, in the end i want to have two identical units of chromatids there's a chromatid and there's a chromatid and they're going to be identical to one another and they are going to be attached via a structure called a centromere and that's what i want to achieve and together, we call this a replicated, because it's gone through the uh, DNA replication, replicated chromosome. That's a replicated chromosome. This is a non-replicated chromosome. That's a replicated chromosome. You see, it's a copy. This one has got a copy, that one doesn't. So non-replicated chromosome before replication, and then a replicated chromosome, and we make a simplified drawing like this with two chromatids that are identical to one another. Okay, so replication process. Okay, so important. The double helix unwinds, and this is going to be very important because it's going to unwind and unzip. But please remember that it cannot unzip before it has an unwound. So it needs to unwind first. It needs to go and become straightened up first before it can unzip. So it needs to unwind and then unzip. If a zipper is twisted, I can't unwind. I can't, I can't unzip it. So we need to untwist it first, and then I can unzip it. And if you swap these two words around in your answers, in your exam papers, they're gonna mark it wrong. It needs to unwind first, and then it can unzip. Okay, so the double helix, there's a double helix. Do this. There's the double helix. It unwinds to form a ladder. So it becomes a ladder. And then the weak hydrogen bonds 
between the nitrogen bases, they unzip, sorry, unzips. There we go. Unzips over here. So there's an unzipping over there. So they separate. And there we can see the separation. You can see this, they become separate. Then some free floating nucleotides build the complementary DNA strands onto each strand. And there we can see over there. These are free floating nucleotides, and they complementary attach themselves to the open zip now. A to T, T to A, C to G, G to C. They attach themselves and form two new strings. So from one string, we now have one, two strings that are identical to the first string. Because of the complementary pairing of adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine, or A and T and C and G. And you don't need to know the enzymes controlling this process. All you need to know is that there are enzymes that are controlling this process. Okay, so each strand acts as a template to form the complementary strand. And here's a nice diagram. This is from the answer series book. Okay, so the, the double helix unwinds and takes and forms a ladder shape. It unzips, so the hydrogen bonds break and it unzips. Three nucleotides come in and complementary sit on top of the existing strings. And then we get two strings that are the same as the original string. If you take a look, let's take a look. G, A, T, G, G, A, G, A, T, G, G, A, G, A, T, G, G, A. On this side, we had C, T, A, C, C, T. This side, now we have C, T, A, C, C, T, and C, T, A, C, C, T. So you can see that it's exact duplicates because of the complementary pairing of A's and T's and C's and G's in the DNA string. Why do we have replication? Because we want to have an exact copy of the DNA in every single cell in our body. And so when we go through mitosis, and I want to form two identical daughter cells, I must have an identical copy of my identical copy of my original in each of these cells. And that's why we have DNA replication. Okay, guys, any questions at this stage? I'm checking the chat box as well if you want to put it in the chat. Okay, I don't want to go further with today's lesson. You need to do the exercises first before we move on from DNA replication. So, can I ask, let me just review what you need to do for Monday's lesson, before Monday's lesson. So, tomorrow, today and tomorrow, you're going to be busy with that. Um, let's quickly go to my Google Classroom again. There we go. On Google Classroom, please. There's some, there's the amendments on caps. So, for example, I said the DNA that we're doing now used to be in paper two, it's now in paper one. This is a document telling you the differences from the previous years and this year now. So, the, I told you the topics moved around. Then, below that, I've got lesson three. Under lesson three, people, I've got, there's the, the link to the classwork you need to do. So you're going to click on that. And then there's a Google sheet that you need, a Google form that you need to fill in with questions. It's an easy one this time, only about six questions, I think. There we go. So please complete that. And then on top of that, 
you then need to go and you need to download there's the notes there's an additional video that you can watch that you not no, not can you should watch from youtube on dna replication and there is your classroom life sciences paper 2 november 2015. please complete all of these questions over here and only those questions because you're not going to complete the whole paper you you can only complete that which concerns dna and rna okay so only complete those ones um and ladies and gentlemen that will be your work for the rest of this period as well as tomorrow's period for life sciences and i will have another zoom lesson discussing this and going on to uh, lesson four on monday monday Thank you very much for joining me for this lesson. Oh, yes, one more thing. Please, there is, uh, there is also the previous lessons we've done. I've loaded it under lesson two and under lesson one. I did check. They are working. Okay, so somebody struggled yesterday. There was something wrong with their settings on their phone or tablet or whatever. Please go check again because those videos are working. I just checked them now. They're on YouTube. They are functioning. Even if you have to copy the link and go to YouTube and just watch the video directly from YouTube or go to my channel on YouTube and then you can watch them from there. Thank you very much for attending today's lesson. Um, just once more, I'm just gonna quickly check. Is there any, I see there's one question in the chat box. Let me quickly check what, what they need. Okay, so can, um, can, we REM the replication by only remembering unwind, unzip, template, and two strands instead of knowing the enzyme. Yes, you don't know the enzyme. Do not, you don't need to memorize the enzyme. If we go to the CAPS document, uh, and I'm going to go to my list to show you that. According to the CAPS requirements, no, it's the wrong page, that's not what I want. Like this okay according to the caps requirements you do not need to know the names of the enzymes you do not need to know the names of the enzymes caps does not require you to know the names of the enzymes involved in this process this is what cap needs you to know it needs you to know when in the cell cycle it takes place, interphase. Where the nucleus, how it takes place, the so unwind, unzip, loose nucleotides, two strands that are identical to the original strand. And then the significance of DNA replication. Why do we have DNA replication? So that we can form an identical copy of the DNA before mitosis starts so that when i get two cells from the original mother cell that both of them are identical in terms of the dna they both have a copy of the dna inside them okay thank you for that question okay any other questions guys giving just a uh, half a minute or a minute for any other questions if you want to type it into the box you can if you want to um because we're at the end of the lesson if you want to just speak up raise your hand or just speak up and ask a question you're more than welcome to okay in that case thank you very much for attending the lesson and i will then see you on monday please go complete the work for lesson